Hey guys, welcome to Interview Questions and Answers Discussion Center. I am Ripon Dutta. This is third class. Today I am gonna discuss about how to reverse a singly linked list. So let's get started. All right, this is our singly linked list. You can see head pointed to node one, then node zero one pointed to zero two. 03, 04, and so on. And we need to reverse this linked list into like that. So head will point to the last one, which is 4, 4 will point to the next one, which is 3, 3 will point to the 2, and 2 will point to 1, and finally 1 will point to null. So this is completely reverse list of the previous list. Now let's get started with Visual Studio. So take a project. In this case I'm gonna use console application. Let's say reverse linked list. Alright, first of all I need to create a node which has another node which will point to the next one and a private variable in the constructor next equal null value equal 0 and in the overloaded constructor we can say next equal still null and this value equal value in this case I want to mention one thing this dot value means this is instance variable this means this instance and dot value means this variable instance variable equal value which is our parameter all right now I need to add another getter method let's say value so I want to use get which will return the value all right now I want to make root or you can say first let's say root equal new root let's say one and we have a head node which will point to the root that means first one then we need to add new root I mean new node as the next node of root so 2 similarly 3 and 4 finally I want to print the node I mean print the list so you can say print list I want to send the head so all right so we can say current equal head dot next while current not equal null we want to print all the value so current dot value so and we need to 
use current equal current dot next otherwise it will be infinite loop now let's see control f5 two three four why yes this is our head node because head is pointing to the first node now you can see yes one two three four now we have to reverse this list like four three two one so make another method it will return a node reverse oh, it is a list it will take a node let's say head So first I need to take the current node which is head dot next. So if we are using head dot next on the time our head should be null and head will point to the root node which is one. Alright. So then another node which is previous equal now one more node which is temp. In this case we are using three temporary node variable. So while current node not equal null the time temp equal previous previous equal current node current node equal current node dot next and finally we have to point head no head node dot next equal previous then finally return the head so what is going on there first I am taking the previous node a temporary variable temporary node then current node to the previous and current node equal current node next that means we are going through from one one should come here initially it is null then previous equal current node which is one and current node equal current node dot next which is 2 then it will go again temp equal previous which is 1 previous equal current node which is 2 and current node equal current node dot next which is 3 so on in this way it will reverse I will show you in using um, debug so after reverse the list pre ops it to use head equal reverse list and we need to send the head and finally print the list Oops, what happened? The print list. Yep. In this case, we need to use current dot next. What is the problem? Oh, I see. Actually, not linking the list so previous dot next equal temp 
we are taking the nodes but we are not chaining these together that's why we didn't get all the nodes except the four node last node so this is the reverse now I want to go through using debugging so I want to put a breakpoint then start debugging then I want to go into F11 then F10 now you can see current node is now 1 which is first node then alright now we can see previous node is null now previous is now 1 and current node should be you know 2 then previous node is 1 now it will link with the uh, null now you can see next is now null then it will go again now temp is 1 and previous is 2 current node is 3 so previous dot next equal temp which is 1 so previous equal 2 and next equal 1 and similarly it will go again temp equal now 2 previous equal 3 current node equal 4 so temp is 3 uh, I mean 2 yes 2 so it will link with the previous so previous dot next equal 2 now you can see 3 2 1 then again temp is now what 3 current node is now null so previous node but next equal temp so you can see 4 3 2 1 now we need to link with 4 node I mean previous I mean we need to add the link of previous node in a hat so hat dot next equal previous now you can see hat next equal 4 3 2 1 then null so this is the way how we reverse the singly linked list I hope you enjoyed this lesson if you have any question or if you don't understand please make a comment in the comment box and if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video if possible so see you soon in the next tutorial in the next tutorial I will show you some um, data structures algorithms and some interview questions so keep in touch till then bye